So what else do we have here? Well, just underneath those figures there, you'll see my audio tracks are listed. For example, we see track two is our rough mix. And for track three, we have the extra mono track at the moment for our harmony vocal. And because they've got checkboxes next to them, then it means we can operate our channel strips, as they are called, here to the right. You'll notice I also see my master output there at the far right, which mirrors my master output over here in our Vegas Pro 12 user interface at the far right as well. Now, just for this overview of our mixing console, I'm not going to go through all these dials and buttons and sliders etc etc I'll leave that for the remainder of this section for the moment just be aware that all these buttons down here next to each channel strip are the same and operate in parallel with their partner button on each individual track in our track list and you'll notice no doubt for each individual channel the relevant channel strip has those duplicated buttons and sliders too for example, with our harmony vocal, it's muted at the moment and we muted it down in our track list. But if I want to unmute it, well, I would just simply click on here and instantly, as we would expect, not only do we unmute here within the mixing console, but of course it's unmuted on the track list as well. So now that we've brought that harmony back, I'm going to play it through again, but this time I'm going to adjust the fader for the harmony track. I'll bring it up and take it back down again so that you can hear it. You'll probably be able to tell this better if you've got headphones on because I placed this harmony in the right hand side of our stereo field. Anyway, I'll play it through. Here we go. White star rocket ships fill the air with the roll of drums and the sound of I don't care. I can just imagine what's going on there, but I cannot fathom as we dance along the air And I believe What I can see Inside of me Inside of Okay, so just simply by moving the fader there for the harmony, you could hear how I could make it very subtle by dragging it down in volume or making it more prominent by taking up the volume. And essentially, that's all there is to the mixing console in terms of when we are mixing. That said, we can add effects to each individual track should we want to, but we will leave that for later if this proves necessary. I'll have to do my quick whirl around and click on all these indicators to take away the clips there. Incidentally, remember a few moments ago when I enlarged my mixing console, well, I can internally adjust as well. For example, here, if I left click, I can drag this to the left to make more room for any further individual audio tracks that I add. And if I've got loads and loads and loads of individual audio tracks, well, I can use this zoom slider to gain myself a little bit of extra room. I'll take it back to full at the moment, seeing as we've only got a couple of audio tracks at the present time. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my mixing console down here so that we can see our monitor, because in the next tutorial, it's only going to be a very short tutorial, in that I'm going to play it for you so that you can see where we've got up to just for this small section. OK, so I'll finish up for this tutorial now and I'll see you in a moment when you can watch this through.